and we'll go ahead and get started. We are uh, introducing the LexisNexis Law Firm Advisor Network today. And I want to start with talking about bill more by working less. That phrase is something that many lawyers have a hard time understanding because they've been so programmed with work, 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 bill, 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 the thought of working fewer hours and billing more just can't be possible. But it is, and we're going to prove it to you in this session. Uh, I'll show you how you can use this knowledge to grow your own business as well. Because the rewards for attorneys are real. When, the, when they bill more and work less, their earnings go up and their quality of life improves. Their clients are happy, and frankly, they become better attorneys who are more able to focus on what they do best, practice law. And by helping them do this, you're seen as a person who gave them their life back, uh, and then and they will give you money <laughs> to make this happen for them. So let's get started. Today we're going to talk about small law firms and the big opportunities that come with that. We'll go through the market a little bit, but first I want to introduce our presenters. Uh, Today, Whitney Pesot, our Senior Product Manager for Firm Manager, will be going over a little bit of the market and a demo of the system. And then below is my picture. I'll kind of go through the program itself with you. Our agenda for today is as follows. Uh, we'll intro the opportunity and go through the market and the demo. Talk about building your practice and uh, the partnership you can have with the Law Firm Advisor Network. And then we'll talk about uh, getting a fast start with the program. And at this time, I'm going to go ahead and turn it over to Whitney. Hi, everybody. Um, welcome to our webinar. Um, as Katie just stated, I'm going to give you some insight into the legal market and um, really where this program is focused. Um, we. There's a large number of attorneys in the U.S., and more than half of them work in small law firms. 63% of all U.S. law firms have one to five attorneys, and the annual growth rate is three to five percent. This isn't a surprise. With fierce competition for the top tier law jobs, there's 13% unemployment for law school grads. So many new graduates are hanging up their own shingle and starting their own firm, which is resulting in over 500,000 attorneys working in solo and duo firms. So there's a lot of lawyers and a lot of firms in the small law space. So I know as consultants, you guys, uh, probably have clients who are sometimes past due with their payments. Well, uh, for most law firms, this is a fact of business as well. At LexisNexis, we're always gathering more data, and we surveyed over 300 firms and found that greater than 73% experience past due accounts. For many lawyers, asking a client for money they earned is embarrassing, uncomfortable, and distasteful. The data suggests that the expressed sentiment represents a sizable business challenge for small law firms, since about half report upwards of 39% of a law firm's total client base is typically past due. That's 39% of their entire client base is past due with their bills. So while client financial hardship is most often cited, there really are notable indications that it's, it's more a cause of client communication uh, or poor client communication or the client's not valuing of the services and even um, sluggish law firm business processes are factors that contribute to this. The survey reflects what we hear anecdotally quite often from our customers. The majority of lawyers enjoy the practice of law, but dislike the management of their firm as a business. And because they don't like or aren't running their firm as a business, they are under-earning by as much as 50%. And this is a real opportunity for you in this space, in this market. So what are the small firm pain points? 
we're going to go through these pretty quickly. But uh, we've talked about under earning in the previous slide and not running the firm as a business. And there are three specific pain points that we think are the top ones for um, small law firms and, and solo attorneys. The first one, in addition to the poor billing practices, the survey found that attorneys are not billing for up to 40% of their time. So they're leaving money on the table. They're, with their billable hour as the most critical lever impacting an attorney's earning potential, many attorneys aren't paying careful enough attention to tracking their time, either due to poor administrative processes, just it can just be they don't have time to do it. Um, if they can just bill a few more minutes per day, that can increase their revenue significantly and they can regain some of that 40% of lost time. The second item are calendar-related errors. And those are the leading cause of malpractice actions against lawyers, accounting for more than one-third of all malpractice claims. So missed deadlines attributed either to, to these missed deadlines can be attributed either to procrastination, uh, failure to maintain an up-to-date calendar, or even user errors making calendar entries, and that can be incredibly costly with the average malpractice claim costing as high as $100,000. The other item, number three on this list, is disorganization. In most small law firms, papers are scattered everywhere, on the desk, on the floor. There's a lot of paper files they keep, have to keep track of. And too much time is spent tracking down or mishandling documents and case-related information. And this is what leads to the number one bar complaint, which is not returning client calls in a timely fashion because they can't find the client information. So these are the top pain points for a small firm. And now I want to introduce you to John, John Stramanskowitz. Um, he is a real attorney. Um, I have met with John several times, and he has been working with our firm manager product team for uh, several years now. And like over 300,000 of his peers, he was an experienced solo attorney who liked to practice law, but didn't like the administrative tasks that go along with it. He wasn't as organized as he wanted to be. And he was using some technology, such as computer and Microsoft applications, but he recognized that he could do more to take advantage of technology. And he had a vision of being able to earn more money and grow his business. He wanted to be better organized and to be able to manage his practice online and through a single platform. He chose LexisNexis Firm Manager and has been using it for the past three years. And since that time and using uh, the LexisNexis product, his business has grown exponentially and he is now a four attorney law firm. And he is regularly working with the firm manager team on enhancements to our products and contributing to uh, new ideas for the product. So, Technology, let's talk a little bit about technology and how firms can leverage that. It was, technology was the top tactic used by 61% of firms who wanted to improve their efficiency. And this was um, shown in a flash survey done by Altman Wheel um, in 2014. Technology really is the silver bullet that's going to help attorneys remove or simplify the administrivia and other tasks that get in the way of what they do best, which is practicing law. It gives them control of their business and helps them run their firm as a business. And it's not just any technology that helps them. It really is um, practice management software. Online practice management solutions like our firm manager product bring together client contact, matter management, document management, calendaring, 
time and billing, and financial management in an all-in-one solution that's easy to deploy with seamless updates and low monthly cost. And they probably have a bigger impact, this kind of technology has a bigger impact on improving client service and attorney productivity and efficiency than any other technology in the legal industry. In a recent survey that analyzed return on investment, Blue Hill Research found that a solution like Firm Manager had an estimated business impact of 1,000 to 4,000 percent primarily in the reduction of non-billable time and conversion of that time to billable time. The return on investment represents, in fact, the highest return that many of us, including myself, have ever seen in my career. And so what we want to do at this point is actually give you a demo of the firm manager product and how it integrates with QuickBooks Online. And Katie is switching over the display to me so I can show that to you. Um, hopefully you can see my desktop at this point. Um, this is the home page for LexisNexis Firm Manager. And you can see we have a place to show meetings and appointments. This is pretty much our dashboard view, so it's the first page you see when you log into the product. It also will list all tasks for that day, and you can also look at tomorrow and any priority tasks that are overdue. Um, in addition, you can see all recent activity across the application and what's been happening on different cases or matters that are in the application. and then. You'll be very interested in this as a pro advisor community. We have a feature called Money Finder. What Money Finder does is it tracks all the activities within the firm manager ap um, application, including task events, documents, matter notes, um, which are included in a matter record and associated with a case, and then contact notes. So all of these activities are tracked. And all they have to do then is click on this link with Money Finder, and it's going to take them to activities that they have not entered a time and expense entry for. So it's very simple to do so from this view. I can go down in this conference that I had with the opposing attorney for that matter. I'm going to actually enter a time and expense entry here. And this was really time I spent. Um, and we're going to call it a conference. And so I can put the billing code in. I've got the date is today. Um, I'm the one doing this. And then my hourly rate. And it actually took more than my estimate was an hour, but it actually took an hour and a half. And now I'm going to save and close that. Ah, and I need to put my matter in. It's a good. Good test there. I'm going to associate it with the matter. And this is so we know who to bill, um, which matter it's associated with. Um, hit save and close. And now that entry has been put into the system, and the activity has been removed from this list. So that's really a quick way for an attorney to, from the home page, see what activities have not been billed for, and then go into the actual list of those activities and enter a time or expense entry for those activities. That's just one feature of the product. We also allow them, we have full um, practice management capability. I'll show you our matter view. This is where a lot of our users spend most of their time, is in this matter view, where they can see everything associated with the matter, including a billing summary, um, what is the trust balance for that case or that matter, any task associated with it, and any invoices, and paid and unpaid invoices. Um, it will also, if we scroll down a little bit here, show you matter activity so you can see everything that's been happening related to this case. And this is just a test matter that I've set up a few months ago, but you can see it's kept 
track of when I did it and what I did on it. Um, you can also look at any other records associated with the matter. And importantly for our users and attorneys who use the product, they can actually enter matter notes. All they have to do is type in a note. Um, and a lot of them will use this when they're actually in the courtroom or if they're at a client site, um, if it's a small business they're visiting, they will enter the notes from their meetings or from their um, court appearance and save it in the product for reference later. And it notes the time, uh, the date, and who entered it and what the matter was and the actual notes taken. We also have conflict of interest. Um, they can run a search and we do have, this is actually a patented um, feature in the product and you can note your decision on any conflict searches and refer back to it. In this particular matter, I don't believe I've actually saved a conflict of interest search, but you can and if, when you click on it, it will bring up all of the search results that you found at that time. Um, so it really keeps a nice historical record with all the search records included in it. Billing, of course, from here, um, if I'm in the matter record, I can actually add an entry straight in from this matter and it shows that it's going to be associated with the matter and I'm going to say I did an analysis and it took me an hour and I'm going to save and close that. Uh, so now it's going to show I have two entries now, uh, time and expense entries here. And it also shows me if it's been invoiced or uninvoiced. So the first, the second one was invoiced, this one is not invoiced. Um, correspondence, uh, this is also, you can actually attach emails to this record. What you do is you use this ID for the matter and you can actually add the ID as a V card and when I open this up it's going to actually save that V card in my Outlook contacts. And now if I send an email to the client all I have to do is CC that matter email and it will be displayed in this view. Contacts um, very much works uh, similar to Outlook and other email systems, you can put in the name, you can put in all kinds of contact information, you can add contacts. We also um, offer the ability for you to import your contacts. Um, when you start using the product, you can actually import contacts um, to get a jump start on that. Um, and there's a great deal of information you can put in this contact. You can also build groups um, so you can define them, uh, if it's a client, you can define them as a, a client group and they'll, you can then send, say, letters to your, all your clients and things like that. Um, calendar, again, calendar is critically important and we do integrate with um, Google Calendar as well as Office 365 Calendar and we sync calendar entries bi-directionally. So if you make a calendar entry in your firm manager calendar, it will get synced to Google. And the same thing if you make an entry in Google, it'll get synced to firm manager. And because calendar is so important to law firms, um, we've added that capability to be able to sync between the different applications. Tasks, you can also define tasks. And this lists your view of all tasks. You can also add tasks from the matter view that I showed you earlier. Um, you can mark a task complete. You can also attach a task to a specific matter or contact. Um, filtering is also, uh, you can filter by the due dates, by priorities, categories, and so forth. So you can look at the different categories. Um, the filter offers you a lot of options for looking at the information. And when you have a true law firm, this is again a demo account, when you have a true law firm, that filtering capability comes in useful if you want to see the, uh, the tasks that are assigned to say a certain uh, person or yourself. Documents, so we do offer with Firm Manager unlimited storage uh, in the cloud, uh, in the online system. 
and you can also categorize, you can organize those by folder. Um, you'll see I have a folder view here and I've uploaded a couple of documents. Um, and you can upload files and folders. You can also categorize documents, which is useful if you want to look for certain affidavits. Um, you can actually narrow it down by category. And you can also move documents between folders and matters and attach documents to uh, matters and contacts. And obviously, you can also delete. Um, and we do have a filter capability for our document view as well. Billing. So I believe billing is probably where most folks on this call are going to be more interested. Um, we do offer a billing dashboard that shows you uh, sort of a snapshot of the overall financials and what's outstanding. We also, you can view all coming due and, and click on those. So we, we give you some nice navigation capabilities to click between different views. Um, and we get a lot of feedback from our users that this is one of the most popular features of the system is the easy navigation to different areas of the application. So I can click straight into all the invoices that are coming due. I can actually hit my browser back button and get right back to the dashboard that I was looking at. Um, uninvoiced amounts by matter. So this is where we've provided a sort of dashboard view of matters that have you know, money associated with them that hasn't been put on an invoice. And this is really useful when you want to see, you know, should I run an invoice for this, uh, this case that I'm working on and this client or not. And if you had invoices in draft status, I don't have any right now, um, but if you did, um, those would show up in this view and you could go and look at all drafts. So what I'm going to do um, is actually create an invoice for this Locklear versus NC State matter. And I'll show you the, how easy it is to create an invoice here. Um, you can actually customize invoices. Um, you can determine if it's due upon receipt. Uh, these are all the different terms we have for invoices. You'll see the invoice numbers pre-populated up there. And I'm going to leave it as due upon receipt. Um, if I wanted to change this time uh, entry, I could do that just by clicking on here and changing that. Say, you know, I was going to charge them maybe a little more per hour if that was the agreement. Um, and I can save and close that. And that will show directly in the invoice before I make it final. And we do have the concept of final invoice and draft invoice. So if the uh, team, if the lawyer has a, someone working with him to do this kind of invoicing, they can actually save it as a draft and then let him review it before they make it final. And so you can see I've got my draft invoice now and I'm in my invoices tab. I'm going to go in as the attorney and I'm actually going to preview it. I want to take a look at it, make sure it looks good. And we show you a nice preview. You can put logos here, so I've put the firm manager logo there. Um, and you can, it's going to show your the information about the firm, the information about the client, um, the invoice and the due date. Um, if I had put an invoice date in, it would have shown that as well. Um, looks good. So what I'm going to do now is save this as an invoice. And we're going to prompt them and let them know that once they save it as a, a final invoice, it can't really be altered. So that has been saved. And now what I want to do is show you our integration with QuickBooks Online. Um, QuickBooks integration is um, going to be available shortly in the next uh, few weeks. And you'll see we've already set up a synchronization with the account that I used for demonstrating. And I have mapped the different areas of information, financial information, into QuickBooks Online. So my payments are going to go to undeposited funds. Time entries will go to legal fee income. Expenses will as well. And then trust payments will also be 
um, taken into trust accounts and liabilities. And then tax and discounts. So tax and discounts, I actually had to create these in QuickBooks Online so I could map any tax that may be required by the state in which I'm practicing law. Um, so that will get mapped into service tax in QuickBooks Online, and then discounts, of course, will be mapped to a discounts um, uh, code that I set up in, in QuickBooks Online. So I'm actually going to click my sync now, because I've already set up my initial synchronization. And then when I come over into QuickBooks Online, so I went ahead and logged into my account before we started the session. I'm going to refresh it. And you'll see that that um, invoice I entered is showing up in this list. We're going to give it a couple of minutes. Okay. So that is the actual integration. You can see on the admin tab, you can do a lot of things. This is where you set up your calendar syncs with either Google or Office 365. Um, you can change your invoice settings. And we have recently released the ability to create templates for matter intake. Um, so they can actually customize the data that they um, gather by, from each client. Uh, based on the area of practice that they're in. So that's a quick overview of Firm Manager. Um, I will cover just a few other things on here. Um, we do have nice resource capability at the bottom here where you can reach our customer service team uh, via phone, via live chat, via email. You can also, we have a community page um, where you can share information with other users or your your clients can. And then we have a nice quick start guide that walks you through different activities and tasks that you might want to perform in the product. Um, and that's a nice place that you as a pro advisor, um, if you want to get familiar quickly with what's the, the capabilities in the product, it's a great guide to use to get a nice overview of the different tasks and capabilities. Um, and as a pro advisor, when you sign up for the Law Firm Advisor Network, you actually get your own account um, in Firm Manager that you can actually use. Um, and it's, it's built in such a way it's actually useful for consulting firms to use. We do have one or two consulting firms that use the product and for their own purposes. And we encourage that as well. Um, a couple of other things you can actually, if the um, if the attorney is is on the phone, they can actually start a timer and keep track of their time. You'll see the counter is going um, right here as they're on the phone, and when they stop, it will actually prompt them to enter a uh, time entry here. So that's kind of a nice feature they can sort of interact with as they're doing their work. As long as they have the application open, they can actually track the time they're spending speaking with the client either over the phone or even in the office. And we have help areas. Um, and then you can also use our global search. Um, it really is state of the art and very quick. Um, I will demonstrate that really quick and I'm going to search for Smith and you see how quickly it um, searched everything related to Smith that I have in the system. We also have quick links um, so as users get more familiar with the product they tend to use these quick links quite a bit to add a matter, add a contact, task, meeting, um, upload a document or, or folder um, and to add the time and expense entry. So you'll see there's lots of different ways to access the different functionality, and we do get great feedback on the usability and ease of use of the product. Um, this is one of our feedback tools. So we do gather feedback all the time. And 
this is actually our feature notification when new features are added to the system. We, we typically upgrade the system and add features uh, a couple of times a quarter. Um, and it's pretty seamless to customers. It happens overnight, and the next day they come in and we'll have new features available for them. That's the beauty of being a web-based product. So Katie, I think I've covered just about everything on the demo, and I am going to switch control back over to you. Great. All right. All right, can everybody see my screen? Looks good to me. Oh, perfect. That, that was pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> Could have been worse. Uh, all right. So as you can see, Firm Manager uh, helps small law firms run their practice like a business. It integrates billing with QuickBooks Online, which I know is a huge key thing for all of you. Um, and it helps them earn more of what they deserve, making sure that they're really keeping track of that time. Now, what we're going to do is uh, talk about the opportunity for advisors like you. This is a great way to break out into a law firm specialization. If you haven't worked with law firms before, this Law Firm Advisory Network program will help give you more information than what we've gone over today about the market to really help enable you to um, you know, talk to lawyers and be able to talk about your QuickBooks Pro Advisor services as well as uh, firm manager services. It will uh, expand your services into firm manager, differentiate yourself from the competition out there, which I know can be pretty major generate more revenue, which is always great, um, and offers repeatable services over time. On our next slide, um, it tells you a little bit about the, the network itself. LexisNexis, in conjunction with Woodard Consulting, has launched a program specifically aimed at helping you grow your pro-advisor business by expanding into a legal marketplace. So we want to help you become a trusted advisor to the largest growing market segment, secure stable monthly revenue and increase your income, and gain a competitive advantage as a member of the LexisNexis network. With this program, some of the things you'll get, and I know Whitney already touched on some of this, uh, get the registered membership, which is access to the below items on this page, as well as the firm manager product. That product you will get access to after attending our long form training when you get significant training on working in that product, um, as well as um, the uh, further training on the market segment, how to address needs and questions. Uh, and that's the training and certification piece. Uh, it'll really help identify kind of the right law firms and provide those insights so you can truly become a trusted advisor for the firm. You'll also get marketing and collateral support through templates that you are able to personalize yourself. This helps really you know, set you up um, as a trusted advisor, show that you not only want a relationship, a personal relationship with these clients, uh, but that you do you know, know your stuff. The next is refers, referral support from LexisNexis, and as the program gets up and running, um, we will be able to provide referrals. Uh, you'll also have the option to share best, best practices with peers. So we will have a network of advisors that not only will you be able to learn from uh, and obtain best practices through, but you can also share your findings with them. Uh, and our last key piece is personalized support for your clients. And what that means, outside of the you know great support features within the product, for the first two clients onboarded through this program, you will get uh, support from our team to 100% onboard them and get them up and running with Firm Manager. So 
as far as uh, business potential, the impact is, is pretty obvious, right? I'm sure you guys have fee schedules similar to this uh, for different clients. Um, but by just bringing on a few clients, working a few hours a week, you can see significant monthly revenue um, and a huge impact to your business. And of course, these, you know, this is a sample fee schedule. Uh, it's totally up to you, your cost, and we'll talk about that in our next slide right here. So there are also a variety of service off offerings you can provide through this program to law firms including but not limited to reconciling work, billings, and QuickBooks accounting, uh, developing productivity improvement plans for clients and assisting with the impl implementation of firm manager, setting up operating goals with clients and tracking uh, those monthly, reviewing monthly data quality and recommending tasks to help improve the business, providing monthly productivity reports, uh, and going over you know, how business improvement can happen there as well. And, and then finally, providing monthly summaries of uh, the finances with QuickBooks. And, and much, much more. This program is designed to be very flexible to meet your needs. So it's 100% your decision on what to offer and how to price the program. Um, I know many of you already have different fees that you charge you know, for certain amount of time, so it absolutely can fold into what you already have set up. In the coming weeks, we will begin sending you more information on the next steps. So we have a, a, our great long form, long form training program, which is the next step for you guys if you're still interested. But in the meantime, if you want to learn more about the manager or the law firm advisor network, the uh, websites are right there for your convenience. And as I noted earlier, you will be receiving this deck after the webinar. Um, so you can always just wait and click on those once you receive this. Um, if you do have any additional questions as well, you can always send us an email at firmmanager at lexusnexus.com. But we really want, uh, if you're ready to get started, we want to help you. And if you're ready to get started sooner than later, please email us at that email address, and, and we'll work to get you fast-tracked. Um, I don't know if there's a six-hour training program that necessarily fits everyone's schedule. So we will absolutely work with you to um, get you on board and get you all the information you need to be able to function in firm manager and speak to law firms. So up next is our exclusive advisor training, and that's coming soon. You will get more information on that. But for now, um, I'm going to take a moment to let everybody know, as a reminder, if you do have any questions, uh, please send them to us via the questions pane located on your webinar control panel. Uh, and now we will uh, we'll take some questions. I don't quite have any yet. I'm going to give everybody just a minute to kind of send those questions in. All right, uh, we do have um, one question. I'll let Whitney start this one off, and then I'll finish it up on the back end, because it may take both of us to answer. Um, the first question is, can you tell us more about the training session? What is included? Sure, Katie. So the training sessions, what we do is we do more in-depth review of the law firm market. Um, and how it's growing and what their challenges are and the pain points. We also speak to the different uh, personas and, and help you sort of 
target where each of the firms or potential firms you might work with, where they are as far as adopters. Are they traditionalists or are they early adopters? And those kind of things. So we help you sort of target the right firms uh, for the firm manager product um, and also give you insight into the market. Then we also train you on the we give you more information about the law firm advisory network and the different tiers associated uh, as you progress in bringing law firms on board and have them use firm manager as well as having you offer services to them associated with that as well as your own services and how that might work. So we go into more detail about that business opportunity slide that Katie reviewed. And then we also go through a in-depth product uh, demonstration and training where um, we show you the full features. I gave you just a, a quick tour of those, but we go into a lot more uh, depth in the uh, additional training. And we also go into depth on how to set up the integration with QuickBooks Online and how that works. So I believe, and then there's more time for uh, Q&A as well during those sessions. Definitely. And I would say I really look at um, that training as your first step into the program. So this is really more of an information session about how it works, how you get started, and once you go through that training, that's when you'll start receiving those materials that we talked about today, that, you know, your firm manager account access, um, your marketing and collateral materials at the different levels of support. So that all gets reviewed uh, more in depth in that training as well. So we have another question. Uh, our next question is, is this program fully integrated with QBO yet? That's a great question. Um, the QBO integration is a new capability uh, in Firm Manager, and it is in beta right now with a um, small set of users, and we will be releasing it to the full set of Firm Manager users by mid-February. So it is a hot new feature, and it correlates with our launching of this a law firm advisory program um, to help give it traction. But yes, that will be available in the next two weeks, and we will go through uh, the full training on that in the follow-up training um, that we were discussing previously. Wonderful. Well, it looks like that's all the questions we have for the session. Um, so I'm going to take this chance and, and give everybody a few minutes back to their day, um, but please be on the lookout for our follow-up information on our next six-hour training as well as the materials from this webinar. Um, first, uh, thank you, Whitney, once again for your expert advice and your demo today, um, and thank you to all our attendees uh, for taking time out of your busy day.